Well, I mean, we, we've obviously been investing in skills development for uh, you know, some time. But what is significant about this and unique, uh, firstly, is the fact that it's uh, all women. Uh, secondly, uh, you know, it's a specialized intervention, uh, meaning that it's mostly looking at alternative energy uh, supply and how uh, you know, it ultimately will empower the, the, the participants uh, into the program to, uh, you know, hopefully pursue entrepreneurial activities in order to mitigate against the impact of load shedding. But the third thing, which I think is also important, is that the three TVET colleges that are involved are going to be continuing with this kind of training even beyond this core. Um, you know, and, and so for us, I think it's quite special. And Pumalanga has been the coal, I mean, the, the, the energy coal hub of the country. And as the country is looking at a mixed energy uh, 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 model, it obviously means that we have to repurpose some of the skills that uh, uh, you know are here uh, in this province. Uh, and and I think more importantly, ensure that people who've been working in the mines that uh, would probably be decommissioned do not uh, lose in terms of their livelihood, uh, employment in particular, and are able to, uh, 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 you know, uh, I think make uh, some income either through small business or through work and all of that. And I think that's what excites us about this kind of, uh, 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 you know, program. But I think more importantly also, it's the unique nature of the partnership. Uh, you know, it's international partners, it's local training providers, it's the TVET College, and we cannot emphasize how important this is. Uh, and I think more importantly, uh, you know, the South African government through our department and the uh, energy and water CETA. Under the JET, uh, JET P, the Just Energy Transition Partnership in South Africa, we uh, are looking for uh, what where would, where would our best value added be? And what we're seeing uh, 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 first is uh, in the employment sector, you know, getting and helping develop those renewable uh, energy skills. And that uh, includes combining that with an effort to get more women uh, working in the sector, employable, and to help inspire other people. So yes, absolutely, that's one, one part of it. Certainly uh, men uh, are, are a big part as well. So, but, but for now we want to see what we can do with women. We've learned elsewhere, including in Rwanda, how getting women involved in the uh, renewable energy sector just, just helps the sector grow and inspire more people. Well, I'm Pumalanga. <clears throat> so as EWCTA, we have looked at renewable energy space. There's a lot of activity in the Western Cape, there's a lot of activity in the Northern Cape, um, and there's some activity in the Houting. Um, but Mpumalanga is a province that is going to be significantly affected by the transition. Um, we already know there's coal fire power plants that are already shut down. The impact there is not tomorrow, it's today. There's already communities around the uh, power plants that are unemployed because of the value chain around they had to obviously seize. Um, and therefore we are presenting opportunities for those people and communities to be capacitated in a new industry so that we, they can ex get access to uh, employment and get access to opportunities to participate in the economies.